crazy. So you're what, back in Florida now? Yes, and um, I'll be here just for two days and then I head over to Houston. Yeah, that's right, I know it seems so quick. Hey everybody, <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. We are now talking um, about smashing your goals in 2020. I posted <laughs> earlier that I wanted to know what everybody's big goal was for um, 2020. So I am super excited to see so many people um, logging on already. I have a special guest who I'll introduce you to. Airport. <laughs> who are not familiar with me, my name is Nikki Woods and I help people get more media so that they can make more money in their business. And we are going to up that in 2020. And luckily we have, like I said, a special guest who's gonna help us get started really, really early. So as you log on, make sure that you say hi, make sure that you check in. I wanna know where you're checking in from. And if you know of anybody that needs to um, reach their goal or had an issue in 2019, didn't make the money, um, that they wanted to in their business, didn't start the business, didn't write the book, whatever it may be, but will um, want to do that in 2020, make sure that you share this with them so that they can learn how they can smash their goals in 2020. Um, so definitely say hi, definitely check in. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. We'll be getting to them and stay on till the very, very end because I have a very special offer just for you. But now I want to introduce you to my very special guest. She is um, an amazing businesswoman and an amazing woman all the way around. She is a cultural architect of our time, a dynamic international speaker, preacher, coach, best-selling author, and award-winning CEO. She is a master at training and teaching the art of being who you are created to be. And she is also the master at helping you um, reach your goals, set your goals, and then go beyond. She is the founder of the Good Life Global Business Brands Bosses um, Tour, which is now touring many, many cities. It's a business summit for men and women entrepreneurs, wherever you may be in your entrepreneurial journey. And it's all about publishing books, creating streams of income, networking, and pitching. So like I said, stay on to the very end. I have a very special offer for you, but first, hello, Joe. <laughs> Hello, Nikki. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm actually tired. I just, just, just got into Florida and I would be here only for two days. So I'm actually tired. I've been traveling all night. Yeah. I, you know what? It's like if, if you weren't on the go, <laughs> then you wouldn't be doing your J-O-B. So right. um, Joe and I are going to be in Houston on Saturday mm -hmm. um, the tour. So we're going to talk more about that. But first, I really do want to talk about goals. Um, and why it seems that we're so on fire at the beginning of January, and then we start talking about, you know, when we get to this time, <laughs> and the, <laughs> we're talking about all the things that we were not able to accomplish. So talk to me a little bit about the process of setting goals and how we can set ourselves up to, to better accomplish those. Okay, that's a great question. Um, thank you, everyone who has logged on today to talk about goals. Um, and Nikki, that's actually a great question. Um, I like to say that many people are starters, but not many people are finishers. And um, it's, it's so common for this time of the year to have hundreds of uh, vision board parties, to have hundreds of goal setting meetings, to have all the challenges, whether it's gonna be about your money, your business, weight loss, all of these things. But by the time we get to about March, April, everybody has clocked out and everybody has forgotten the real reason why they started in the first place. And so it's, it's not just important to set goals, it's important to execute the goals. It's important to execute Whoa, the goals. That was for 2019. <laughs> <laughs> because everybody, they do, it, everybody has ideas. And I love talking about ideas as much as the next person, but if there is yeah. no action behind it, then you are just sitting on your couch talking about ideas. Listen, they are just sitting on the couch. And, and I, 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 I was on a live yesterday and I was saying that one of the things that I noticed is that a lot of people, they, pre they prepare for a, a, a travel, uh, they prepare for their vacation, they prepare um, an outfit for whatever party or event they have months in advance, but then when it comes on to their lives, they just play it by air. And I really don't get it because people get more excited to 
build other people's dreams and other people's visions and build other people's bank accounts except theirs. Like literally, I don't know anyone who is going to get up um, on January 1st, 2nd, 3rd or whatever and just say to themselves, I'm not going to go to work. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going in today because if they do that, then maybe the next day they go in, they don't have a job. And so the same passion that you put into building somebody else's dream into planning somebody else's goal, because every time you take up your purse, you go in your car, you get in traffic to go to somebody else's job, you're actually planning their goals. You're executing their mission. You're, you're, you're giving life and fuel to their dream while you sit on yours. And it is my belief that God has given all of us, all of us, I don't care who you are, what, what it is that you do, what you believe in, every last one of us has gotten something that we can leverage and monetize, whether it's something in your hand, creativity, whether it's something in your head, your, your intellect, your, your education, whatever it is, or whether it's in your heart. Um, I like to talk about the three H's, whether it's your pain or your passion. And what I've found is that some people don't know where their money earner is. And so oh, some people will say, I don't have anything to plan. I don't have any goals. I don't have any gifts. All I have is this painful story. Do you know how many people are making money from your pain? <laughs> like, pain. like, <laughs> like the last year that I was actually employed, it's like every day I would tell myself, <laughs> my name is not in the jingle. And that yeah. says to me like that I, it, as big of a dream as it was and as, you know, as, as beneficial as it was to be a part of it, it wasn't my dream. And it was exactly, and exactly. So I had to, to claim that for, for myself. So once you decide, because I think that you're right, I don't think that there's so many people that just don't realize like what they already have. They're so busy like, oh, I've got to do this and I've got to create this. And I told one <laughs> of my clients, stop creating. Like, right? Sell what you created, stop creating. I mean, she's a phenomenal creator, but then it just sits there and does nothing. Right. Um, and, and, and one of the things that I thought of when you said that there's a, an entrepreneur named Rachel Rogers, who I just, I have just the biggest business woman crush on her. And she, <laughs> said, she sent out a quote yesterday that said, um, when women own their wealth in abundance, the world mm -hmm. becomes a better place. That is true. So we're the ones that are driving this thing. Right? Right. We're, like the ones, we're the head of everything. So That's once true. We decide, this is what we want to do in 2020. This is the goal. This is the big goal. What are some of the next steps that we, we have to take in order to make sure that we're taking the action to make them a reality? You have to find your three C's, your three C's. You, you, everyone needs three C's. These are the three people, the three pillars that you need in your life. And then you need to identify the four things that are keeping you stuck from moving forward. So um, the three C's is that everyone needs a cheerleader. When you've identified your goal and what it is that you do, you need that person to cheer you on, to say, listen, girl, get up and do this thing. You have to do this. Then you need a coach. Everyone needs a coach because the cheerleader is your friend. Your coach is not. Your, <laughs> your coach sees in you what you don't see in yourself. Your coach is the one who is able to identify the plays, know when you should run, when you know when you should fold. And then you need that, um, that converter, that contributor. That's the person who is going to go beyond their words. They're going to go beyond cheering and say, hey, you know what? Let me support you with some money. Let me put my money where my mouth is. Let me tell others how they can contribute to what you're doing. So right. those are the three C's that you need. And then you need, as I mentioned, to identify the four P's. Why are, why do you have these goals? Why you keep repeating these goals? Why is it that every year you make the same affirmation and declaration and then you see a piece of the promised land, but you never go any further. You need to identify why it is that you cannot connect with your market. You need to identify the pain that's in the market and where you come in because every doctor is not for every patient. And so a lot of people, they're just copying everything that they see people do. And then they're not able to fit anywhere because they're not finding their pain point that they are the medicine for. And then you have to do things. You have to find, um, you know, your, 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 your market or your PR person, whoever it is that's assigned to you to, uh, to, to make that dream come to pass. You need to find them because those are the people who are going to put you right in front of your market. You have to find out where your market is. Where, where are they hanging out? Are they hanging out on Facebook, Instagram, events? Where are they hanging out? So a lot of people are, they have the right product 
but they're in the wrong place or they're in the right place, but they have the wrong product. And as you mentioned earlier about the person who likes to create, um, that person has to find somebody who knows how to execute because what they're going to have is an inventory problem. You know, like a lot of people like to buy stuff and then they never figure out, okay, how am I going to get rid of these stuff? So you have to make sure you find those four things and then you have to ma make sure that you find your three C's. And these are some of the things that we're going to be discussing at the Good Life Global Tour. How to get connected with the person who can pull out of you what you don't even see in yourself. Because sometimes, you know, sometimes we, we don't even know how gifted we are. I like to tell my clients, whenever someone asks your friends, who does Joan, who, who is Joan? You know, how would you describe Joan? The first three things that they say, those first three things, those are the things that you should examine because if everyone sees those and right. you can't see them, then they're onto something. So I was telling you quiet. I mean, it's like, I think that, you know, and especially like I looked at your bio and I only read a snippet of it because it's, you know, extremely long, which is good. <laughs> but every once in a while, it's like, I'll have somebody read my bio to me out loud mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you forget what you've done. And if you right? stood on the side of a stage and had, I've had people read my bio and I'm like looking around like, who is this? Who are they talking about? <laughs> and then I realized it's me and I'm like, you know, wow. It's like, we just mm -hmm. discount all the things that we yeah. have done. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about mindset. Cause I tell people as, as a coach and a consultant that it is not my job to support your limiting beliefs. No. Like you can tell me, you can give me every single reason in the world, but I am not here to, to sign exactly. off on that. So exactly. let's talk about mindset. And then I do want to dive deep into, um, to the conference and everything that, that people will get when they, when they come in all the cities, but let's talk about mindset because I think that is like the biggest thing um, that we as, as entrepreneurs and people in general have to mm -hmm. deal with in order to get to the success. Yes. Yes. Um, I think uh, it, there's a statement that says that um, no war is won um, on the field before it happens in the mind. Mm -hmm. So the mind is very important because it, it, you have to win here first before you go out there. And that's where a lot of people get defeated. They, they cannot see themselves beyond where they are or beyond where they were born or beyond what people said about them or beyond their experiences, the negative experiences. And if you can't move beyond that in your mind, then you're, no, you're going nowhere fast. And so this is why it's very important to first identify who you are in your mind. Okay. You know, then you have to identify what or how people see you. And you can do two things about that. You can either don't give a damn. Uh, <laughs> don't accept it. Or, or if it is something, if it is something that you believe that will hinder you, then you must change something about it because nothing changes until we change. Nothing changes until we change. So we can do all the affirmations, all the declarations, all the decreeing and declaring all these things that people do. But if your mind hasn't changed, I mean, you could change your weight, you could change your, your wardrobe, you could change everything, but until your mind changes, nothing, nothing will change. And until you change, then the way how people treat you will not change. Ooh. No, right, right, because you really teach people how to treat you and how you treat yourself is what you're going to get back. So it starts in the mind. So it's very important to connect with the right people, read the right books, invest in yourself, go to therapy. And get off of Facebook thinking that people on Facebook are, are licensed therapists. If you need to go to therapy, go to therapy. Talk to someone who can help you. A lot of people don't get help because they believe that, you know, the person who, who is there to help them, they believe that they have to have certain titles behind their name or have to know certain people. And so they, they miss their blessing because they're looking for it in a different package. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, 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 and I think the other thing that I have learned is that you really cannot judge your journey by somebody else's. Exactly. And I think that was the biggest thing for me. It's like when you, when you are in a career, even though you're an employee, but you're in a career where it sets you up to believe a certain thing and then you become an entrepreneur and you dip <laughs> because it's a whole <laughs> different walk, right? Yes. Like, well, why are they here and I'm here and you know and you really get in your feelings about it and it, it hinders that process. Exactly. I mean it's a constant growth walk. 
And as you said earlier, one of the things I learned early on is your 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 success and your mm-hmm. bank account are only going to be as large as the investment you make in yourself and Thank in your you. So Thank you don't you. ever, I think, get to a point where you don't need to go to a conference or you don't need a coach or you don't need to network with somebody that may be a mentor to you. I mean, I still, I have like five coaches. Like I still have, <laughs> I still go to conferences. I still get mentors because you, if you stop, then you probably are going to about to die because you have to constantly- exactly. Because anything that's not growing is dead. It's dead. Absolutely. So, so yeah. you have created this tour for that reason. It's yes. for entrepreneurs that are on any part of that journey that want to network, but also get poured into by people who have been there and done that, so to speak, or are doing it. Um, yes. So tell us a little bit about the conference and, and what people will get when they, when they attend. Okay, so as you mentioned, the the conference is for anyone who's thinking of becoming an entrepreneur. So even if you're at your nine to five or your nine to six or whatever time. And as a matter of fact, I'm, I'm quick to say that this conference is for everyone. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I am a stern believer that the way people remain poor is because they keep passing on. And guys, I'm near the airport. As I mentioned, I just got in. So there's another plane going over. So people, when people keep on passing up opportunities repeatedly, that's how they remain poor. And we're living in a time where no one can survive off of one income. Like, show me the person. Right. Like, I don't see a billionaire who have one investment or one business. They all have several streams of income. And so even if you're comfortable in your job, that is no excuse not to have another two streams of income. So this conference is to teach you how to process or transition from your nine to five responsibly. Like I'm not the coach to tell somebody, oh, you know, if you have a vision, if you have a dream, leave your job and no, that's that's irresponsible. <laughs> that's that irresponsible. No. So irresponsible. And I yeah. see it all day on, on Facebook. Stop telling people to just leave their jobs because this is not a cakewalk. But we help you to transition and go through the process and and to use your gift. You don't have to look outside of you because pretty much whatever you need is already inside of you. So we show you how to use your gift, your talent, your ability, your passion, your niche, whatever it is that you do to create multiple streams of income and to make six, seven stream um, figures uh, because we have clients like those. We also teach those who are trying to write books. Um, Obviously, I am the CEO of a published company, uh, publishing company. So we show you how to write your book. If you're looking to write your book, if you're looking to be published, we do that as well. If you're looking for magazines to be published, we do that as well. And then if you're a seasoned entrepreneur and you need to scale your business, scale, everybody needs to scale their business so they do not become a slave in their business. So you left somebody's job where you were a slave and then now you've become a slave of yourself. So you really don't have a business, you're a self-employed employee. And we're trying to show you, yeah, we're, we're trying to show you systems and strategies, how you can set up your business, go to sleep and make money. And these are not just cliches or promises. Like we have we have receipts, we have results, and some of our results will be there in the building. Um, some of our results are, um, are are speakers as well. So you know, it is my it is my. Um, I really want I really want everyone everyone who even understand that we're on the verge of another recession, and your job is not going to sustain you. You need to be in the room. You need to be in the room, and I'm sure Nikki has a great offer for you today. Um, so. <laughs> Actually, I do, because it really is time for you to bet on yourself. I mean, I think that we put our faith in so many other people. And, you know, one thing my mom told me early on when I started working is like, God is the one that signs your paycheck. And you're the one that puts in the work. So always bet on yourself. And so I will be in Houston along with Joan and a ton of very talented and successful um, people and entrepreneurs. And so if you are in the Houston area, we definitely want you to join us. Uh, I'm gonna put the event link in the comments, but uh, we're offering 30% off the ticket price today with the code NW, for Nikki Woods, one in the uh, the, uh, actual promo code. So I'll put all of that below or if somebody else wants to type it, but it's NW. 
I'm going to post the event link in the comments and I'll reply to any, any questions or whatever um, with the link as well. But I'll also be in the comments answering your questions. Um, yeah. I wanted to um, talk to Joan and I'm so glad that she was able to do this. But I also <laughs> want to let Joan go so she can to her family that I'm sure wants to see her for a couple of days before she leaves. So like, tired. Yeah, I know. And I want you to get some sleep and have a sandwich. So, um, <laughs> We're going to let Joan go, but I'm going to stay on, like I said, I'm going to answer any questions, but I'm also going to talk more about the conference because I certainly want you to join me. I'm going to help you put together your profitable PR plan so that you can get the visibility that uh, Joan mentioned earlier. But Joan, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thank you. Thank certainly. you. Thank you for having me on. Yeah, well, and I'll certainly. Certainly. go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I'll say I'll, I'll, when you get off, when I get off, I'll certainly watch the rest of the live, you know, but thank you so much. And thank you guys for logging on today. You can catch the replay, girl. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. All right. So, yes. So we are going to um, continue. And if you all have any questions, we'll take those now. Um, I will post this link. Let me do it now before I forget, because I will do that too. Um, but I also want to know what your goals are and if there's any questions that you have um, in, on how to um, achieve those. I have my, um, my right hand, she's on as well, and she's looking for comments as, as well as we go through this. But I'm going to look at my phone. See, I do this all the time. I try to turn it on so I can see it and forget to take off the thing. So, hey, hey, Panya, how are you? Hey, Tracy, good to see you. Um, Sarah Vance is on. Appreciate you for tuning in. Hey, Bianca. Hey, Michael. Thanks for joining. Hey, Mark. How are you? Uh, Wit, you are on. It is good to see you. Jacqueline, as always, you are a very, very special um, person. So thank you so much for joining. Uh, hey, baby. And so I am still on the radio. I do freelance now that I have my own business and I resigned from uh, full-time employment. Hey, Nisi. But I do do freelance consulting with radio and TV. So I'm not on every single day like I used to be, um, but I did 20 years. I think that's enough time. <laughs> enough time. So, uh, but thank you for asking. It was so funny. Let me just tell you this quick story. This is what I love about the power of Facebook, but also just the power of the media. And this is why if you want to put together your profitable PR plan and you are in the Houston area, you should definitely come out and join. Um, but I, I was buying, I buy antique furniture and I fix it up. It's kind of like what I do in order to pass the time sometimes as if I don't have enough to do. And so I, I got this, this chair. Well, no, it was, I don't know what it was, but I got something and we went to go meet him. And the guy, the, the guy that was like, he was like, I was so excited to come meet you. It was like in a storage place or whatever. He was like, I was so excited to come meet you. He's like, cause as soon as I saw your name, he's like, I knew you were the one that was on GCI in Chicago and I wanted to get your autograph. And I'm like, this is, I have been off the air in Chicago, full time off the air on GCI for, I want to say it's been 10, 12 years. And I've been off the air in Chicago for almost a year and a half. And so it was just so funny. My, my son was sitting there because he, he hates when people ask me for autographs. But it was so super cool. But that is the power of the media. And that is what you want for your business. So as Joan said earlier, if you do not have a PR and marketing plan or if you do not know how to get media for your business, um, then you're going to struggle. And it's, it's unfortunate, but it's true. Um, so definitely, like I said, if you're going to be... Um, Oh, hey, Joan, Joan signed on anyway. If you're going to be in the Houston area, make sure that you come by. Um, that link should be in the comments. The promo code is NW1. Uh, I am going to go ahead and sign off because I actually have to catch a flight today too. Um, but it's a quick flight and then I will be back. And so I, um, I just appreciate you guys for signing on. And I love you all so much. And I can't wait till we get to 2020. Hey, Edmund, how are you? I can't wait. Oh, hey, Nisi, thank you. We know, well, I miss Howard and I on the air together. You know, Howard is back on the air on a B103 in Chicago. So um, I've done a little bit of time with him. I'll try not to do too much because he's still <laughs> Howard McGee. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, Alexis is in there posting the, the link and stuff. Thank you, Alexis. Um, so if you want anything to do with your business, to grow your business, to make more money in your business, then it's really important that you invest in your business. And this is a great opportunity to do this if you're in the Houston area. So um, I will, like I said, come in and answer any more questions, but I'm gonna sign off for now. Um, but know that I appreciate you and know I'll be doing a lot more lives in 2020. I certainly 
fell off <laughs> for lack of a better word because I was working on my business. And so sometimes you have to kind of go underground before you come back. But I've got a lot of new stuff to, to share with you in 2020. So I'm really excited. So have a great New Year's Eve. Please be safe. Make sure you're not doing anything that's going to make other people unsafe. I'm really adamant about that. Um, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much.